Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. In the last episode we defended uh, Jirusu uh, from this alien nest which is like right on its doorstep. I'm surprised that our radar didn't pick it up before they attacked. Uh, so um, we're actually going to take the Alex sniper squad. Uh, in fact while I think about it let's, let's put this manticore going over here. Pause. Pause. There we go. Uh, we're going to take the Alex Sniper Squad up to grab whatever recruit is up here. Let me just see which recruit was... I thought there was a recruit available here. Ah, right. So this takes 25 food, 19... To, oh, enough space. Yeah, so this is just a regular person. That's kind of what I expected. Um, we're actually going to take this group back to Phoenix Echo. And Manticore 2 is going to get Helen Kennedy on board. Uh, in fact, let's let's come down here and we'll grab the other soldier down here as well. Lily Thomas, welcome on board. And this uh, brand new uh, team of five is going to go in and clear out the nest. Just for a bit of variety, so we're not always using exactly the same people. Now, because we don't have any heavies, we don't have any explosives, etc. This is going to be a very different play style. Our people may end up dying horribly, but with three people on the team called Alex, I have confidence that it's going to go okay. Not exactly confidence, but I'm sure we'll make it work. Okay, right, we're going to have to take out this thing first of all, because this is... This is gross and nasty, and the torso is not very armoured, which is good. So let's let's try and keep all shots centre mass. And we're just going to kill it with weight of fire. And this is actually going to be the, the danger of uh, of doing this, is we're going to end up using a lot of ammo. And it's still alive. Um, right, someone else use a pistol. Don't care where you shoot it, just shoot it. Okay, now sniper cartridge, we want to get that head disabled. Uh, it's not worth you taking shots at it, let's get more sniping going. Alright, head is disabled. May as well just keep putting bullets in. Oh, come on. Keep putting bullets. Oh, come on. That is frustrating. Uh, so when you click on a body location, it actually moves to it. And uh, I was just completely failing to hit the uh, fire button. There we go. Good job, team. I feel like uh, that's actually not a terrible start. What's the Crabbin got? He's got a gun and a shield. Okay. Not massively keen about him potentially shooting us, but uh, let's start moving around. We're going to have to go all the way over here to get to this. Um, so I think going around this side is going to be the best way we can do that. Because this way just, just, yeah, it takes us the wrong way entirely. Uh. 
Okay, one ding on us, didn't do any damage. Don't think it damaged our armor either, so nothing we really need to worry about. Obviously not keen on him taking shots at us, but uh, what are you going to do? Can we actually get into any cover across this way? It's sort of to, to take this thing out. That's a lot of armor up top. And I think we'd end up shooting the cover directly in front of us for targeting the bottom. So let's leave that. You can get up. I don't think you can actually... Well, you might be able to shoot it, sort of. It's, it's not great whichever way you look at it. Um, hmm. Yeah, come on in over this side. And you can stay in the open to draw fire away from our snipers. Okay, he didn't actually come forwards. We can't see him anymore. Don't know if that's a good thing. Probably not, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, that's miles away. But we need to stop this thing from hatching. So let's have a look and see what we can actually target on it. Uh, it's only got one armor on the torso and three armor on the roots. Okay. Uh, so it's still going to take two snipes and something else. So that's a snipe. Here's the something else. We keep that nice and center mass. Perfect. Torso disabled. I like the way it does the uh, the max hit points being removed. And then if you could just finish it off by shooting it once again in the middle. There we go. We don't have to worry about the damn hatching. Uh, actually, you can come forwards to here for the moment. Uh, you can keep up. And we'll try and move everyone else forwards. Now, it could be that this goes completely terribly for us uh, by us ending up overly exposed like that. Although this guy's actually come forwards quite nicely, so let's let's get behind him and let's zap him. Okay. So he's stunned, at least to start. If we get to the side, we'll get a good shot. Straight for the unarmored head. He can't have much health left. I ah, just finish it off. Probably could have done it with a pistol. Probably would have been a bit more sensible with a pistol, but that's fine. Uh, you need to heal yourself a little bit. And then back to moving forwards. It's a lot more tense with just these guys. Um, bear in mind, we've not given them like extra ammo or anything. If this does go horribly wrong, I'm 
I'm quite happy to reload and try again a different way. Um, but it's it's good to experience these things and see what the capabilities of your troops are. We don't want to wake this guy up if we don't have to. Um, he would just be extra ammo that we don't really want to spend. So instead, let's just try and keep everyone moving forwards safely. And not too far apart. Don't hatch, don't hatch. Pretty please don't hatch. Okay, new dude coming in. Yeah, we can probably get a couple of blasts on him. We'll go to here, we can shoot him in the leg quite nicely. Maybe even take his gun out in his arm. Failing that, we do have sniper support. So I think that's a reasonable engagement. So let's have a look at these angles. Going after his arm, I think that's probably going to be the best. Although he could then just sh spit at us. So go for the leg. Very good. You can step up, you can finish him off. By blasting his arm. That's teamwork. It is slightly terrifying, as I mentioned a moment ago, but it's still working. Working as a team. Okay, so they can sort of see us, but not very well. Uh, it might be an idea for us to let the snipers get a bit closer. So we could put you over here. Yeah, that's fine. Tucked in the corner. Ooh, can we... We can see the spawner from here. Where is that going to be visible? That, not that way. It must be like through that, through that gap. That was a very weird uh, bit of camera work that went on there. Still good to know that that is totally a thing. Uh, let's get you to here. He's going to have to come forwards. He's going to take shots as well. Uh, so we can tuck you in here. That's reasonably safe, I think. You in behind this one. You've not been shot yet, so that should be fine. And you over here for now. Okay, good. It's pretty much spot on what we wanted. Uh, if I go to here, I can blast him in the leg or here in the arm. Either one of them will be fine. So let's, let's get that arm gone. That was not good. Should have gone for the leg. Live and learn. Right, take his leg. 
Sweep the leg. Shouldn't be able to miss that at all. There we go. Rest of the team can now hurry forwards. And we can start thinking about how we're going to take out this thing. Okay, I think you could... Oh, no, you could see the thing on top. That's okay. Yeah, so we, we definitely need to get a lot closer. Let's push up to here for the moment. Looks to be okay. Still looks to be okay. All right, team. Out into the open you go. Now, if this was the previous backer build, I would not have done this with so few people and so little ammunition. It would have been grenades everywhere. Um, but we don't have grenades everywhere. Uh, one thing I could do is I could make more grenade launchers and, and things like that. Um, but as I said before, I do want to try different, uh, different techniques, uh, different methods, and see how they compare. Uh, given how quickly the aliens' turns are going, I believe that they've not got anything that's active at the moment. So we're just going to charge everyone up. And hope we don't get surprised. And it is a real hope. I mean, we could get surprised by something that's just like waiting around a corner and hadn't triggered because we weren't close enough or, or anything like that. So don't try this at home, kids. Well, I mean, it's it's a backer build. It's, n it's not the finished game. Of course, you can try this at home. You can always save and reload if things go badly. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's the time to experiment with the different mechanics. Okay. That is over there. That is down there. We don't care about that. So just this guy. So looking at him, he's got no armor in the torso. He's got no armor in the eggs either. We're going to just keep pu keep pummeling him in that mouth. That is a disgusting thing. That's going to be one more turn before we can bring our snipers to bear. Uh, with the snipers, we're actually probably going to end up doing it pistol shooting. Just because of the amount of damage that we'll be able to output for the same, uh, same number of action points. Right, you're actually going to run out of ammo with this. Okay, who do we want to get the kill? Probably one of the Alexes. Because I'm biased like that. Kill it with a pistol. Go on. Ew, gross. That is kind of disgusting. Uh, so, it doesn't just do it based on kills. It does do it based on... Um, the amount of interactions that have gone on, which is good um, because we've, we've got stuff evenly spread between everyone. Well, I say evenly. Uh, the more interaction people have had with uh, what's going on, the more experience they have. So we've got two level ups to do. And no one died, which is probably the most important thing of that kind of mission. I was worried taking five in that we'd run out of ammo or we'd get overrun. Two very distinct possibilities. Uh, right, let's have a look at the squad roster. Okay, so you've still got ammo. You 
You're gonna need a med kit. Uh, you're gonna need a med kit. Although it does make you over encumbered. Ah, uh, take it. We'll we'll put your strength up. And in fact, for these guys, I'm quite tempted to give them shotguns. As oh no, they can only carry one two-handed weapon. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So training. Uh, technician heal. Yep. Restore general heal amount. <laughs> um, obviously, with the backer build, there are some missing uh, text strings and other bugs that we will inevitably run into. Um, you just have to giggle at them uh, and trust that they will be fixed in time for launch. So, restore um, eight hit points to the general hit points of an ally uh, using one charge. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Sniper rifle and heavy weapon proficiency. Uh, heavy weapon proficiency does sound fun. We could give him. Oh yeah, right. So if we do heavy weapon proficiency, and then we will give him. We're going to give him the deceptor, but I want to put the class filter on and see. No, it doesn't show up despite the fact we're proficient. Okay. Uh, so you're getting the deceptor because it's awesome. So you don't need the the VDM thing anymore. You need that. And uh, yeah, we'll give you more strength. We'll give you one more willpower. And another strength. You're still overburdened, but I mean, look at that. That's such a cool gun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, next up, Lily Thomas. Uh, so you're getting technician heal as well. Uh, expert packer, sure. And assault rifle proficiency. Uh, nah. Nah. We'll, we'll give you willpower. Uh, you're going to need strength. And speed. So. Let's do that. And I think that'll be fine for all of that. Um, as I said, in, in the equipment, we can make new items. Uh, so if we want to... Uh, oh, actually, of course, we could make new armor for the bits that we want. So let's have a look. Costs 90 and 2. It takes a lot of materials, just, just as an example. But we can recycle the ones we're, we're not using as well. That's, that's very, very useful. Getting materials back for things that we're not going to use. Right. Let's... One, two, three, four. We'll, we'll, we'll take it down to five. We're not going to need more than five of these. Uh, the the different grenades. I want to hold on to them because I don't want to try that. I do want to try them out. Um, we will get rid of a few of these. I think I'm going to have to spend some time thinking about um, precisely what I want people to be carrying and doing. The Phoenix handgun is nice, but the new Jericho handgun, the Iron Fury, was so much better. Okay, let's let's go to the other squad very quickly. In fact, we can just go through here. Okay, so equipment. You have a Phoenix handgun, which is not brilliant. You have a new Jericho handgun. So. I'll take 15 materials to make a new one. D3. 
Did that actually take some of our materials to... No, it didn't. It just it just loaded ammo in from the thing. Oh, that's handy. Uh, yeah. So if that wasn't there, we could uh, we could do that, and it would automatically load it up. All right. Let's let's work out how many of these we're going to need to make because I I want everyone who's got a handgun to have the right type. So starting with Elliot Quinn. Oh, look at this. We've actually got. Uh, the ability to move between the... Uh, because we're on the personnel screen, uh, we can jump between the people at the different locations. Uh, it confirms that the storage is, in fact, um, shared between all Phoenix bases and the ships. That's good. Uh, right, so we're going to need one for Elliot. We're going to need two for Jane. Three for Michael. Four, five, six. So six more. And uh, we'll get six ammo as well for it, I think. Oh, actually, we've got six spare. That'll be fine. Six spare will be enough. Okay, so. Elliot. You're losing that. You're getting this and an ammo. Uh, we didn't actually give you a spare magazine, but we should do so. Uh, we did give you a spare gun in case you wanted to change, but you've got plenty of encumbrance, so that's not going to be a problem. In fact, you may as well have that in your hand. There's no reason for you not to, to have that there. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, so the three remaining ones are over here. Ah, right, so it doesn't actually load them up with ammo. So one for you and a spare, one spare, one and spare. There we go, and it actually shows the uh, the ammo clip in there. So I'm, lear I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. The other thing I wanted to check was this. And it's ammo. Yeah, we need to make missiles. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let's find where that's gone. There it is. That's only half reloaded. There we go. Now it's fully reloaded. Very good to know. Uh, so yeah, it's it's going to constantly take us fifteen materials every time we shoot a missile. But generally speaking, we're going to get more back than we're going to spend on it. So we've we've learned quite a bit about uh, manufacturing and and stuff at this point. Uh, let's go through and we'll yeah. I mean, recycling the engineer stuff. Um, if we get a person, they're going to have stuff on them, so there's no reason for us not to do this, really, unless we wanted to specifically gear our people. So, scrap, scrap, uh, 
And I'm pretty happy with how we've got uh, people's gear at the moment. If we need to make more, we can always make more. And this is this is really sorting out our required numbers. Uh, the rest of the weapons and things I think we'll keep. Um, they're not really taking up that much space, and it's uh, it's nice to see what we've got in the options for guns. Uh, right over here, I was I was talking about maybe switching you guys. Up. Now you've got a a new gun, so that's fine. You know what? I'm I'm fine with how you are. So Manticore Two has five people on. Manticore One has just the one medical two let's let's send you up to in fact let's let's have a look and see what we've got in terms that there's a recruit available here let's go have a look that takes 315 materials and we need space so this is one of the ones uh that we would in fact yeah so we're going to go back to phoenix astronautics and we're going to drop off uh, is it Helen? Uh, let's check your equipment. No, it's not Helen. It's the other one. We're going to drop off Lily Thomas. And we're going to get ourselves a new Jericho Armadillo. Which is awesome. Uh... I might leave it at Phoenix Astronautics, but for the moment, we're going to take it around with us. Um, but I'm afraid we are out of time for this episode. Uh, so it's been a, a little bit fun. In fact, let's, uh, let's, where are we going to build our next radar station? I think uh, we're probably going to want to push towards Europe, which is going to mean going over the land bridge. So I think up here is going to be the next one. Uh, let's move back to phoenix astronautics for the moment um but that is going to be it for this episode so thank you very much for watching everyone i do hope you have enjoyed this we've learned quite a bit actually i'm i'm pretty pleased with how that's gone uh and of course we've had a little bit of combat taking out a nest with quite a reduced squad if you are enjoying these videos be sure to give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for some more phoenix point See you soon.